Let's start with Grammar 101. The very beginning of all the grammar you need to learn. This is the to be verb, which is very important, which is very commonly used. Okay, so what we're going to do, what I'm going to do here is go through this quickly. I'm going to do some pronunciation to help you with that. I want you to notice that we have the equivalent below here of the English in Spanish. I am a student. Soy un estudiante. Okay. Now, in Spanish, you have two forms of to be. You have soy and you have estoy. Okay. So, here we have it in the present tense. If we go on the other side, we have it in the present perfect. I have been a student. He sido un estudiante. Okay. So you can make these comparisons. Uh, I would uh, advise you to go to Sheraton to this particular lesson, which is lesson number two, and to do these. I'm going to go through it quickly. I'm going to give you a little pronunciation of I am a student. I am studying. Then I go on down in the past tense. We have I was a student, and you can see it's fui, era un estudiante. That's the past. Then we have the past perfect. I had been a student. Había estudia, sida un estudiante. Okay. Then we go to, we have the future. Then we have the conditional, which would be if something had happened. I would be a student, okay? And you have the conditional perfect here, which is I would have been a student. Then we go on down to, this is all in the to be or ser or estar, okay? We have the form affirmative, I am. The form negative, I am not. And the form interrogative, am I? And you can see down here we have the equivalent soy, estoy. And the form negative, no soy, no estoy. And then we form interrogative, soy yo, estoy yo. Okay. Do we do that for all the persons? I am. You are, he is, we are, you are, they are. As you can see in Spanish, in English, that uh, there isn't that much of a change in the verb itself. Then we have the form affirmative and negative and derogative. I was, I was not, was I? You are, you were, you were not, were you? This is, as you see, we go on down to those, they were, and they were not, were they? Okay, then we come down here, what do you call the complete view? This is the affirmative form. In the present tense, I am, you are, he is, we are. You are, they are. And in the present perfect, I have been, you have been, he has been, we have been, you have been, they have been. Then we have the past tense. Here we have the past tense. I was, you were, he was, you, we were, you were, they were. And in the past perfect, I had been, you had been, he had been, we had been, you had been, they had been. 
I know this is a double E, but we don't pronounce it like B, like in the uh, insect B. In this case, it's I, bin. We go further down to future tense. I will be, I will be, okay, you will be, he will be, we will be, you will be, they will be. And you can see up here how they are in Spanish. Then the conditional, I would be, you would be, he would be, we would be, you would be, they would be. And in the conditional perfect, I would have been, you would have been, he would have been, we would have been, you would have been, they would have been. So we go down a little bit further into what they call the complete view, or all of them. And we have the negative form. Now, in English, the negative form is more or less using not. I am not. I know in Spanish you use no. No soy. No estoy. And see, I am not. You are not. He is not. We are not. You are not, they are not. And in the present perfect, we have, I have not been, you have not been, he has not been, we have not been, you have not been, they have not been. As you can see, there's only one change, in the, and it's in the third person as far as the verb is concerned. Come down to the past tense, I was not, you were not, he was not, we were not, you were not, they were not. In the past perfect, I had not been, you had not been, he had not been, we had not been, you had not been, they had not been. In the future tense, we go on down to the future and the conditional. In the future, I will not be. You will not be, he will not be, he will not be, you will not be, they will not be. In the future perfect, I will not have been, you will not have been, he will not have been, and so on and so forth. Okay? Then we go on down to the conditional, I would not be, you would not be, he would not be, and so forth. And in the conditional perfect, we have... I would not have been. You would not have been. Very good, people. We're making good progress here. And then we have the complete view, the form of the interrogative, which is, am I? Are you? Is he? Are we? You are you? Are they? Then you have over here, have I been? Have you been? He has been. Have we been? Have you been? Have they been? So forth and so forth. We can go on down to the past. Was I? Were you? Was he? Were we? Were you? Were they? In the past perfect, had I been? Had you been? And etc. and etc. Okay. Then we have in the future... We have the future here, will I be, will you be, will he be, and so forth. Then in the future perfect, will I have been, will you have been, will he have been. Okay, people, now you have it. That is the, the uh, ser and estar, the P form of uh, English and Spanish. Uh, learn these, study these, remember these, because these are ones you will use a lot in conversation and etc. Okay, people, I will see you in the next lesson and see how you will do with these. Practice, 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 please.